Hey there everyone, welcome to another radio related video and this is a video for 3 MHz. 3 MHz is the lowest frequency officially of shortwave. Um, I mean personally I would probably include 2 MHz but um, 3 MHz is the technical lower part of shortwave frequencies. So, what to listen to in 3 MHz? Um, first part of 3 MHz from 3 to about 3.2, so 3 to 3,000 to 3,200, you will have uh, utility signals. Uh, there's the 90 meter tropical band from 3,200 to about 3,400 which has some stations there, including uh, US stations. And from 34, 35, you have another little part of utilities. But from 3500 all the way up to four megahertz, it's the 80 meters amateur band. 80 meters amateur band is very local. It's uh, mostly communications a few hundred kilometers or miles from your home and it's uh, one of the popular local communications band within uh, states or within uh, a part of the country or if your country is not too big um, probably in the country itself and surrounding area it's one of the popular amateur bands for local uh, really local stations but of course doesn't mean it's just local you can hear stations from very far away I've heard uh, stations all the way to, to South Africa on 3 megahertz so uh, it gives you an idea that it's possible to hear from pretty far away 3 megahertz is really a nighttime band sunset to sunrise daytime almost nothing to hear uh, unless it's really close and again, an example of that is I hear the CHE Canada on 3330 uh, in the daytime because it's only about 70 or 80 miles away from here which is about a hundred kilometers uh, but apart from that station in the daytime I don't hear nothing on 3 megahertz so I'm, I don't think you'll hear much either but uh, take a listen because you never know you might have some signal close to your home that pops up during the daytime so let's start tuning 3 megahertz and we'll start with uh, utility part And here starts US stations already. Signals are rather weak tonight because they often are more or stronger than this on my location. CHU Canada on its 3330 frequency. Coming in pretty much 24 hours at my location because I'm really close to it. And I would say starting here, we go back to upper sideband. Lots of uh, aeronautical communications here around 3450, 3480. This is New York radio and Gander radio. They are on that uh, frequency range. And starting here, we go into CW mode. Start tuning around. CW signals. Nothing much tonight. You can see that propagation is not really good. I do hear much more than that usually. This is a digital mode signal. 
And starting here, we are at uh, lower sideband mode and tune amateur radio stations. This is local net. Some AMers on 3875, 3885. In Europe, 3900 to 4000 is home to a local broadcast band in Europe. And so, and sometimes these stations will actually come into North America from 3900 to 3995. Uh, some DRM stations also. But here in North America it is mostly used for amateur radio and it's the 80 meter band. It's in lower sideband for the voice. So this is 3 megahertz in our series on 3 to 30 megahertz shortwave signals. And so don't forget it's a nighttime band from sunrise, uh, sunset to sunrise only. During the daytime there really isn't much propagation. And the highest problem, you probably the biggest problem you'll ever have on that band is the fact that it's really noisy because of all the electronic gadgets we have in our homes. It's a very, very noisy band, so it's uh, especially in a big city. So this was the 3 megahertz segment of the shortwave bands. If you enjoyed these videos, click on the subscribe button on the top of the video screen. You can also uh, leave comments or questions and we'll try to answer them the best we can. If you enjoyed these videos, uh, I hope you do. And there's a whole series, so it's a 3 to 30 megahertz in 1 megahertz segment. Take a look at all the videos, very interesting stuff to listen to on shortwave. So take care, 73s. Bye bye.